Hi, I am Stargirl the Practical Witch and welcome to my channel. I am an astrologer, a tarot reader, a psychic, and a medium here on YouTube and I use my gifts to help guide those who feel a little bit lost. So in today's video, this video is for people with Saturn in Aquarius in their astrological birth chart, which means that you were born between the years of 1991 and 1994 if you follow tropical astrology, or if you were born between 1993 and 1995 if you follow sidereal astrology. Either way, this will resonate and apply to you because you have Saturn in Aquarius in your astrological birth chart. This is what it means for you and how it will impact your life. So people between these years that were born with Saturn in Aquarius, I like to call their life the hero's journey, call them the late bloomer, everything embarrasses me type of person, and I feel like a loser type of person. People between these years with Saturn in Aquarius have a tendency to see themselves as an underdog and also just feel like they can't fit in anywhere because Saturn is the planet of karma, restrictions, blockages, and delays, and Aquarius is a sign of friendships and groups of people, which means that people who were born between these years have a really hard time finding their tribe until later in life or have a really hard time fitting in to mainstream society or what everyone else is doing or might just feel like a loser or that everything embarrasses them. Why is this? This is because Saturn is sitting directly across from Leo, which is a strong aspect. The sun rules the sign of Leo. Saturn is not good in or near Leo because it impacts its ruler, the sun. This is because the sun in astrology is fame, happiness, confidence, self-assurance. Meanwhile, Saturn is insecurity, blockages, and hardship. What's interesting to me is that on tropical astrology pages, people with Saturn and Aquarius are said to have ego issues. That's interesting because what I feel that modern astrology astrologers mean by this is that people with Saturn and Aquarius do not seem to get along easily with others. People with Saturn in Aquarius have a hard shell and seem to be against society and societal norms due to that very society discriminating or rejecting them. Rejection is the worst form of pain. Humans are social creatures and generally, people with Saturn in Aquarius experience frequent rejection or experience situations that greatly damage their self-confidence from an early age. Like I said earlier, Saturn is the planet of delays and restrictions in the sign of Aquarius, which is groups of people, which means means that people born with Saturn in Aquarius feel outcasted or prefer to congregate in groups that go against mainstream society and societal norms. The question is, why would these large groups of people be born with such a placement if it's so bad? Saturn does bring karma, delays, and hardship like I said earlier. However, it is for a good cause. It is for your higher good. And I don't mean just as spiritual development, although that's part of it. I also mean for your highest good materially and for your dreams to manifest here on Earth. These formative experiences are meant to shape you into the person that you are meant to become, giving you a unique perspective on life which you can offer to the world in the form of your life purpose and destiny. The planet Saturn in your birth chart also rules your legacy and your career. People born with Saturn in Aquarius are born in situations that make them feel rejected or less than or outcasted because these people are meant to be the champions, the leaders of the underdogs. What do I mean by that? Simple, they are meant to go on a hero's journey. Let me explain further. Frequently before the age of 27 and before their first Saturn return, they are plagued by concerns over what people think or they go on the complete opposite spectrum and rebel to the point of no point and self-detriment. For the Saturn in Aquarius person, their Saturn return will happen between the years of 2021 
2021 and 2024. Their Saturn return will be about whether or not they bend to the pressures of society and societal norms choose to end up bitter against the world or use their past rejections as a mode of self-improvement and become a leader and role model to those society rejects. An example of a Saturn in Aquarius character is Hercules from the Disney movie Hercules. Interesting fact, Aquarius rules the shin of your body and in the drawing of Hercules, the body part that is most emphasized is his shins. Coincidence? I think not. And actually, there are many times in kids' movies that they slip in astrological references. I'm just going to drop in a picture that I got in the movie Shrek of the elf and the wanted poster where the king is looking for magical creatures and kind of putting an end to magic in Shrek's kingdom. And if you notice in the elf's face, there is actually the Saturn symbol right there. So if you ask me, the people at Disney absolutely know astrology and slip these symbols into these movies. Now in the movie Hercules, he never feels like he belongs to the village he lives in. In fact, unknown to him, it's because he was not from the village. And actually, the son of Zeus, who due to Hades, ended up drinking out of a bottle that turned him mortal, except for one drop that allowed him to keep his godlike strength. The kids in the village always seem to avoid him as well as the people because his godlike powers actually caused destruction everywhere he went due to him not being able to control his abilities. He then goes on a journey, a quest, trying to find where he belongs and where he's supposed to be, much like the Saturn and Aquarius person and what they will likely do at a young age. They will likely feel the need to go away from their hometown, family, or neighborhood out in search for people who accept them and where they fit in. Then, the young hero meets his mentor. This is when he becomes aware of his true potential. His Saturn in Aquarius characteristic awkwardness socially slowly melts away as he develops confidence through transforming his spirit and body through rigorous routine and discipline, much like the things Saturn likes to do. Now, this is where the plot thickens. Saturn impacts the houses which fall the third, the seventh, and the tenth from itself. To explain further, to have Saturn in Aquarius, it would impact the houses in your birth chart that rule Aries, Leo, and Scorpio. Scorpio being the tenth aspect of an Aquarius Saturn. So in other words, a huge part of someone with Saturn in Aquarius is to go through a massive transformation, a phoenix rising from the ashes where their awkward, unsure skin melts away to reveal the hero that was always underneath going through both a mental, physical, and spiritual transformation into their higher self. So for those with Saturn in Aquarius, whose Saturn return is coming up, or just in general, when Saturn goes into Aquarius, the general theme of what we can expect is massive transformation that leads them to their tribe, where they belong, people who resonate with them on a spiritual level, something they have struggled to find for most of their lives. Because Saturn aspects Aries three houses away, these people will also notice that it is a struggle for them to take action on their desires, dreams, or goals without overthinking the process to the point of inaction. Or on the opposite spectrum, these people will take action without much thought, which lands them in deep trouble. Over time, they will learn that any action that is first planned and then executed will work out the very best for these individuals in the long run. I hope you guys liked my take on Saturn in Aquarius and this explains your life or why you feel like a misfit. And once again, your Saturn return is not something you should fear for those with Saturn in Aquarius. It will bring great transformation to your physical body, your emotional body, turning you from the awkward kid into the shining hero. And this is what you can expect. I send you all my love. I hope you liked my take on Saturn in Aquarius and I will see you guys later.